Meet Lazara, the French Canadian artist set to take to the stage for France at Eurovision in Liverpool this May. The 25 year old from Montreal is the first French Canadian artist to participate in Eurovision since 2016, following in the footsteps of the most famous French Canadian to ever participate in Eurovision, Sandra Kim. Just joking, of course I mean Celine Dion. Lazara is a well-known and popular artist who has amassed a large number of followers across social media. With Eurovision Canada set to debut this year, this could be a very savvy choice from France to have a Canadian perform on their behalf and could also generate significant interest in the country. With global voting set to begin this year, are France banking on Canada backing their own homegrown singer? France's decision to select internally is a change from the usual national selection process through the show C'est qui vous décide. But with Lazara's unique sounding blending, I think, of Edith Piaf and Lady Gaga, perhaps France felt this was the year to shortcut the drawn out process of a national selection and just select and start working with their chosen act. This is a statement of intent and is similar to how Israel has put Noah Carell front and centre of their Eurovision 2023 campaign. Lazara follows in the footsteps of some famous French Canadian singers who have previously taken to the Eurovision stage, such as Cherise Lawrence, who placed third in 1986 with L'Amour de Ma Vie, and Laura Fabian, who placed fourth in 1988 with Quar. In addition, we have had Annie Cotton walk through Saint Le in 1993, who placed third, and Natasha Saint Pierre, who placed fourth in 2001. Not forgetting, of course, Rika, the last of her kind for Switzerland in 2016, who placed 18th in the semi final. Then there was, of course, Catherine Duska, Berlo for Greece in 2019, who placed 21st, and Esther Peony on a Sunday for Romania in 2019. As Lassara takes the Eurovision stage, many are wondering if this Hi. could be the year for France. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the winner win. of the Eurovision Song Contest for 1977, 1977 is France. Had a disappointing result last year. But with a promising performance from the last solo female to represent France, one Barbara Pravi, who scored a second place in 2021, and with the Sandro's win at the Junior Eurovision in December 2022 in Eurovision, and of course with France now hosting the Junior Eurovision at the end of this year, could this help bolster France's chances at the adult contest? As we wait for the results, we want to hear from you, our audience. What do you think of France's choice of Lazara to represent them at Eurovision? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest Eurovision updates and I will see you in the next video.